So is the setup just strictly GPS? It doesn't use sensors or anything? It uses a lot of sensors to it. It's okay. GPS and a lot. So you're going to see it. There, this is one of the mowers right here. You can see all the sensors on it. Come take a look. I can get close to it. Yeah. But it's a, it's a, with a company called Green Sea. Uh, I'm the CEO of Green Sea and I'd love to give you tell you a little bit about it. So this mower is a highly productive machine. It contains a robotic worker on it that does not get tired and loves to mow straight lines. So my colleague Matt here is on the mower. He's done the first step, which is to press the map button. So what he's doing right now is he's mowing the perimeter. There is no boundary wire needed. He is simply mowing a perimeter. Now we have a small area, but what he's doing is he's, when he gets back to the start, the mower is gonna tell him, I can take over and I can finish the job for you. So he gets back to the start. He's gonna look down and he's gonna see that the light is solid, which says he has a map. He then has three steps he has to do. First step is put it into autonomous mode, which he just did, there's a switch. The second is to, put the, to take the remote control, make sure it's on. And I'm just kidding, there's no third step. He just presses the mow button. And the mower's gonna kick on, it's gonna go full throttle, and it's gonna strike perfect straight lines inside the path where he did. Now, if any time it sees an obstacle, it's got depth sensing cameras, so it will stop. Now, we've got that turned off for this such a, a small area, but please check our YouTube channel to see how good the obstacle detection is. It's gonna do wide turns here, hopefully better than you can do. Uh, that's what it always does going to back up and put down another straight line. There you go. Now when it gets to the end of this massive field we're mowing, it's going to do another uh, Y turn here. Watch it, non-running Y turn. And then it's going to line back up and put down another straight line. It leaves about 10% overlap. And while it's doing this, you can be doing other work. So you can be edging, weeding, blowing, riding another ZXT, doing a lot of cleanup, enhancements, or like this guy just eating lunch. That's right. right? <laughs> So highly productive machine, very efficient. We are now in uh, production with this machine. Please ask your local dealer if you want a demo. We have customers in the field using this machine right now to get maximum productivity and efficiency. I'm uh, welcome to any questions you guys might have about how the sensors, cost, that kind of thing. Uh, I'll open it up to questions while we just, this is the boring part, we just let it strike. Any questions? So, on the the uh, for everybody, yeah. Uh, Go ahead. On the camera sensors and stuff, what the is, is it have lidar or anything, or is it just straight lenses? Can you mind if I I'll repeat? No, the go ahead. We had a question from someone. Uh, how do the cameras work? Is it lidar? Like what's it what's it seeing? Uh, so this machine right here has four depth sensing cameras. These are Intel RealSense robotics cameras used in the industry for obstacle detection and obstacle avoidance. We didn't invent them. We just use them in this industry. So they see in depth. They can basically see obstacles above the ground plane. This is not a LiDAR based system, although it produces a depth cloud uh, similar to a LiDAR type system that automotive use. These are industrial automotive grade. You can wash this mower down. You can pressure wash this mower. We ask you to just lightly uh, uh, do the top, but you can pressure wash it. Uh, but we do not use LiDAR on this mower. It also has a fourth camera that's AI ML camera that does people detection and semantic segmentation. We have more about that on our YouTube channel. We have a lot of videos about the perception. So the mower's done, it comes back to the start, it idles down, it says I'm ready for the next job. So uh, my colleague is going to do a quick demo. It also has another fun feature, remote teleop, which means it's joystick. So he can remote control it. Also great for hills or dangerous areas. And uh, he loves a uh, uh, hot dogging on it, so thank you. Thank you, Matt. Um, but this is more of a fun feature, but it's also very useful. If the mower is done, you can bring it back to you from across the field. Uh, Matt, I believe this mower has about a two-mile range. Uh, so you, we, uh, while you're here, you do need to be in the area. So we, um, he's going to go ahead and run another map. So he's just going to press mow again. It's going to do the same map. 
so we'll just let it run again. It does the exact same thing. It's a robot, so it doesn't care. It'll mow the same thing every time. I'm assuming when it goes out of perimeter, it just shuts off. Uh, if it has from a male function. From the audience, says, if the mower for some reason goes outside the perimeter, what happens? And the answer is it will shut off. Um, now, uh, that's rare to happen because we have full control at uh, 60 hertz. So uh, 60 times a second, we have software that's monitoring it. But if it does, for some reason, go outside the perimeter, it will shut off. The controller vibrates very heavily, so you'll feel it. Uh, especially if you're on another mower or doing other work, you will feel it. And you'll look over and you can pull the mower back in with the remote control, or you can jump on it and do it manually. So that's a great question. Any other questions? Any other questions?